Ladies and gentlemen, what's going on? We're doing another modern cube draft here on magicthegathering.uk.org slash edu. Song of Creation, one teamer mana, four mana. You play an additional land on each of your turns. I'm like, all right, cool. Oracle of Moldiah. Whenever you cast a spell, draw two cards. I'm like, whoa, that's bonkers. And it's like, at the beginning of your end step, discard your hand. And I'm like, well, you lost me. All right, see you later. But what we were talking about, Mark said the art is really, really good. And I agree. This is some good Noah Bradley art. It's a little pixelated here because we're zooming in on a low res image, but you know, art is still very good. So, Heliod Suncrowned. That's a two card combo with Walking Ballista. It's also very, very hard to deal. I think we just might start with this Heliod. Just play Whirlwind of Thought instead. I don't know what that is. Oh, this is interesting. So, another enchantment for one Jeskai Man. Whenever you cast a non-creature spell, draw a card. This is kind of like a, a an alteration of Jeskai Ascendancy. Where Jeskai Ascendancy was three mana, you loot, but your, your guys untap. They also get plus one, plus one. This is just like, all your cards replace themselves? That's pretty good. I think Nissa is dumb, but I think there's like an infinite combo potential here. So, I'm going to take that. And also hope that we can get uh, Walking Burlista. Walking Barista. Barista? Barista. Um, I think Muldrifter is probably my my preferred card in this pack. Also, I like white blue Chions. Probably more than I should. <coughs> Oh, we can take the Sea Chrome Coast. Actually, I think Sower of Temptation might be a little better. Or you gain life, put a 1 1 counter on target creature or enchantment you control. Serum Visions, as we just figured in the last uh, in the last event, in the last video, uh, is not our, our preferred. Do Mono White Weenus Rand ever make it work? <laughs> well, then why would I try to make it work? That seems like a terrible. Also, there was no good white cards in there. I don't I don't have a preference towards mono white that's strong enough to like try to make it work. Oh, I like a Demir signet. I like a cast out too. I think Torrential Girl Hook. Torrential Girl is the, the problem with Torrential Girl is I never end up with enough. Uh, I never never end up with enough good instants. Always blue with you. Yeah, I mean, like, have you played blue cards? They're pretty incredible, but our bad luck stacks and it would be awful. I mean, great. Oh Jesus, oh dear. Cast out or Demir Signet. I think Demir Signet is probably better, especially when it might not even go with the Sun Crown, gentlemen. Wow, two Signets in this pack. Holy bajolies. I mean, if we take Simic Signet, setting us up for like the the sweet. The sweet soul tie deck. You are my favorite person to hang with on Dalkery, dude. I really appreciate you. And your years and years of support. Years and years. Years. Grab that mana tide for the lulls. <laughs> what's oh what's uh I'm gonna take Metamorph here. I don't think we want to go soul tie. And uh oh Riftwing Cladscate and Vizier many Are we just are they just giving us the mono blue deck again? I think oh, we just took a Phyrexian Metamorph. I think we're going to take Cloud Skate here, especially because it's Shut a two drop. Take my money. What's happening? Oh, hold on. Hold on. Hold on. I don't know what's happening here. This is too much reading. It's too many words for the <clears throat> for the Twitch. Also, I have to update my rent because my rent for June is going to be higher because I'm going to be in, most likely going to be in Denver for that. And my Denver rent is not the same as this rent at all. The I just want to fix you stip. In pack one and two, if you see a fixing land, you take the fixing land. In pack three, profit. Two vetoes per pack. I might be able to get you there many Dude, don't even worry about it. Don't even worry about it. That is totally fine. I appreciate you, man. Hardest of court. Thank you, man. I really appreciate <laughs> Defeated by Twitch. Well, to be fair, defeated by Streamlabs, I guess. Which is what everything goes through. Um, this pack is not good for us. I guess we could go actually... God, this I, I hate this. This is like my least favorite Soren. Maybe I just take Rankle. I don't know. This pack's pretty bad. I'll take the Soren. It's splashable off Demir Signet if we want to do that. 
Um, and then it's like, and then you get to this pack and you're like, I don't think we're actually white anymore, guys. Eh, I'll take Reflecting Pool. Again, it's a good land sometimes, I guess. <clears throat> Hardest of Core, thank you so much, man. I appreciate you. You're awesome. Hold on, let me uh, close this for a second. Pop open my notes. Make sure they don't spill over onto the thing. Content. Go to Twitchy Boys. Uh, Dungeon guys, unexciting but acceptable. Golgari Signet says to me, Hey man, I hear you want to do Soul Tie, so I'll take it. Because they're just really making it easy for me. Okay. Um, well... Find finality is decent if we're soul tie. Putting these guys away. Yep, just take find finality here. Hinterland Harbor? Deal. Well. Oh, and if you go mono blue and stuff. I mean, it just wasn't possible. The cards weren't there. It's not like we took. It's not like we took, like, Golgari Signet or find finality over better blue cards, you know? So. Overgrown Tomb. Guys. <laughs> Night's Whisper? Yeah. Yeah. Alright, so we won't get Simic Signet because it, we did pass it, but, I mean, this is pretty good. I guess Night Veil Spectre is good, but I'm not even a big Night Veil Spectre fan if we are mono blue, so. Um, I'll take Scrap Heap Scrounger. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, man. I just got a YouTube comment, and it says, Frank, you're disgusting, you jam-buttering POS. I enjoyed the video, though. Thumbs up, butter bottom. <clears throat> Good lord. I think, I think Liliana here is, uh probably the best pick in this pack i like cyclonic rift but i think liliana just gets rid of things oh cryptic command walking ballista <clears throat> i mean let's be fair we could be esper this is a black card golgari signet can go over here we can just play it yeah, I'm taking Walking Ballista. That's an infinite combo. Even if we don't play the... Like, we just splash the... Oh, the Ashiok. Remember you guys were like, what's your favorite card? And I was like, Ashiok's real good. Um, Also, Obnixilis is good, too. Let's just take the Ashiok, I guess. Oh, we do have... Oh, both of our lands are green, though. That's stupid, man. What does Finx do with Heliod? So you gain life, you put a counter on the Finx. Oh, because they just go infinite? It's not bad. I bet Finx comes back, though. This is only second pick, so... It's third pick? Third pick, because we got Liliana on a walking blister. <clears throat> Could take Isolated Chapel for the white. I think this is more iffy. Like, I think we have a really good deck without it. So I think I'm going to just take cards that are good for us right now. Oh, Celestial Connie. Drown Catacomb and Orzhov Signet? Oh, jeez. Oh, jeez. Oh, butter my biscuits. The problem with Heliod is that, like, it also costs to activate. But I guess if we have the green to play it, we have the green to activate it, you know? I don't know, man. Like, we could just take Drown Catacomb and have a really good... I'm just gonna I'm just gonna stick with the colors that we have right now. I think our deck looks great without the Heliod combo. But if we have some way to splash it without actually messing up our mana base, like, I think that's... That's just fine. Uh, I do like Disallow a lot. And, like, like, it's possible Isolated Chapel and Glacial Fortress could come back, too. This is what our deck 
more more looks like oh I love Soren Grim Nemesis. It's like one of my favorite planeswalkers. I think we're just taking that and we're just gonna go four color. We we're not green at all right now. I think we're just Esper guys. We also have Soren Solemn Visitor. Yeah, all right. I mean, it sucks getting rid of these, but... Oh, there's an Inverter of Truth, and the other guy did... Exile all cards from your library face down, then shuffle a career in your library. Like, I don't think the combo's as good, because you can't... You can't make it so that you have, like, one card in your graveyard, you know? I'm just going to take ultimate price here. Croxa. If we want to go... If we can go all five colors and just play this Croxa. <clears throat> I'll take Blooming Marsh in case we're on the... Eh, I don't think I want double black Hypnotic Spectre here. I think Blooming Marsh is probably better just in case. Uh, Time on your enforcements could be good. That's definitely a sideboardable card. Have you ever revealed an Emrakul to Soren to end the game? No, that sounds amazing though. Yeah, you do want delve stuff like Murderous Cut or Tassiger if you wanna if you wanna go with Inverter slash Thassa's Oracle combo. Find is just double black, but yeah, I mean actually I was thinking that too. Like that's why I kept it in there when we were Esper, but <clears throat> I don't know how hard double black's gonna be, but I guess we do have Liliana. But Liliana's also like six drop, and this is probably gonna be cast sooner than turn six. But we're obviously very heavy black blue right now. It's probably fine. Shriek Maw. I like a Shriek Maw. Until I don't. Ob Nixilis came back? Wow. I love a Robert Nixilis. I'm going to be franked out of my mind if you get the Heliod combo kill. Oh, Celestial Colonnade? Oh, watch this Thassa's Oracle go around, and then we can probably pick up the Inverter, too. Wow, that was a late colonnade, dude. Only if you cast him as a man. <laughs> That's a good meme, dude. That is a solid meme. Cast him as a man. I still feel like I'm too far over. That's a late shoulder that I will gladly... Eh, I'll take an Emery. Last pick, something good. Come on. Come on, bring it. Bring it. Come on, one time. Just bring it. Oh my god. Last pick inverter. We could have had Oracle inverter. Last pick. Wow. I mean, I'm fine without, but... Like, it's funny because we actually don't have any green cards with, like, Hinterland, Overgrown, and Blooming Marsh. So that's kind of cool. <clears throat> The Finks didn't come back, it looks like. I'm going to take Shambling Vent. And I say it looks like because maybe I missed them, but... Are you going to take Karn here? We have Double Signet. This is also kind of like just a Planeswalker deck. Like a... I mean, Shambling Vent does seem more important right here. I feel like we're minimally splashing white, so I'd rather just have the Karn, which is just like a better banishing light in the late game. Or the Shambling Vent. I mean, we do have a lot of top end, I guess. I'm going to take the Shambling Vent, because I think our mana is more important. <sighs> Lyra, interesting. Lingering Soul seems pretty good here. I think Languish will probably come back. Uh, I also like Narset, but I like Narset less in a format that doesn't have, like, Leovold and Time Twister. Guys, Kitty Cat Cam is on point right now. Let's see if I can open this guy. Let's see if I can... Nope. Oh. Nope, that's me again. Any of these good? 
Okay, so none of those are actually doing anything. So I'm gonna close that again. I think I'm just taking lingering souls here. <clears throat> oof, big oofs. What does rainforest get us? Like nothing, right? Because we only have celestial shambling drowned. That's sad. I think face fetters is pretty good. I could take pack rat, but like I'm kind of tired of going all in on pack rat because I think this format actually has a lot more uh, sweepers because it's much more mid rangey and like creature based. I would love to take Nicol Bolas, but we're not going to do that. We're just going to take face fetters here. Rainforest gets you... Oh, this is a deck we could finally play Dream Trawler in? Oh, I'm so on board for that. We could also take Garrick Apex Predator because we have Overgrown Hinterland Harbor. Oh, yeah, we're definitely taking Dream Trawler. That's exciting for me. Um, Anguished on Making seems great. It just deals with everything. Kalidus is good, Liliana's good, but I think Anguish to Making is really where we want to be. I emailed you a meme for after this draft. Oh, geez. <laughs> should I should I show it on stream? Um, nah, none of these cards are that exciting. I guess like Slaughter Pact is fine. I don't care about Isareth or Gadwick. Triple triple blue card in here. Dream Trawler cut off my joke being read. Cut it from the deck. Wow. That's hostility. That's some Dream Trawler hostility. Oh, Chromatic Lantern seems nice. I also just like Karn. Like, Karn is just good. Especially with Signets. I kind of want to have a, a, a wide variety of four drops here. <clears throat> I'm going to take this out because I don't think our creatures are that good. I can take Shieldred out. Okay, so this is the meme that Dalkari sent. Uh, toddler, the toddler tamer, leashless ankle weight system. This is such a bad product. You might have temporary control over your tot, but you're just going to make it stronger. What's worse than an uncontrollable baby? An uncontrollable baby who has never missed leg day and could kill you with one kick. Yeah, this is like, um, is it like the Naruto that we're like, he, he has like the leg weights on or is that Dragon Ball Z? It's, it's not, it's not Naruto, right? It's both. Oh, well then. Oh, Dark Slick Shores and Teferi? Oh, my gravy. Oh, my gravy. Oh, wow, this is like planeswalkers.deck over here. I mean, I'm taking Teferi over the Dark Slick Shores because I just don't care about Dark Slick Shores. Even though it's probably bad for us. Oh my god, a speed skater training with a parachute sounds insane. That's wild, dude. Eh, Tassiger seems okay. Opt seems fine. I also don't hate Shadow Spear for the life for the life gain. This deck seems real sweet though. Uh let's take Forsake because that seems like it could be very, very useful, especially if our opponent has uh sweet um swords that are good against us. Nimble Obstructionist is actually playable. Liliana is also playable. Gadwick is also playable. Dark Slick Shores last pick, it's not possible because that's not how the packs work, but, you know, you can keep your fingers crossed, I guess. <clears throat> I'm to make one cut here. Like, Sorin, Sorin is lifelink, Face Fetters is, or, uh, is life gain, uh, Dream Trawler is life gain. We need one cut here, and then we have, like, three lands to play. Ooh. Not our best work, but still pretty good. Shambling Vents is life gain. It's a little slow, but life gain nonetheless. Wow, we have Obnixilus, Teferi, Ashiok, Soren, Liliana, Karn, and other Soren. Was that one, two, three, four, five, seven Planeswalkers? That's real good. 
Liliana, I don't like Liliana at all. I, 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 don't, I just don't think Liliana's that good. <clears throat> I mean, I know that's weird, but, like, it's just... I don't like having to discard cards to Liliana. Maybe she's good in this because, like, it just sacrifices a guy. I don't know. Maybe it's good. Surely. You know what? I'm going to listen to you. I'm going to put it in. She's only one cut, though. It's just Night's Whisper. Like, we have a lot of card advantage. Let's look at all our cards that give us card advantage of some sort. I sent two more. They're funny. Also, I love you. Must go. Dockery, have a good night, buddy. I appreciate you, dude. I am always disappointed in Shriek Mob, but in the matches, like when it's when they actually have creatures that aren't black, it's fine. Board and Sower? Oh, man, that's wild. I don't think so. I don't think so. Sower is actually real good. Like, stealing their Primeval... Like, against a mono green deck, like, stealing their Primeval Titan or Oracle of Moldiah, like, they just can't get it back. Are you enjoying Modern Cube more than um I'm enjoying the I definitely feel like it's been more more reasonable to me. Let's put it that way. Are we doing 41? Let's just do 41. I don't even care right now. We got double signet. Wow, 444, four, four, huh? Let's sort by color. Okay, so four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, four, five, six, seven, and then four, five, six, and six. Oh, we get one more? Let's add one more white. Okay, sure. It's like eight, seven, seven. Seems fine. Okay. I'm on board. Um, we're just going to run out catacombs. Ain't no reason not to. Yeah, I figured I used 40, no, 41 cards enough that a 41 emote would be uh would be fitting. Oh, Terramander. Guys, do you know what time it is? Time to get shrieky. We're going to cast this now because I don't know where else we'll cast it on the curve. And I also just don't want to... I got a target? There's no other targets. There's one target on the board. I agree. We have a good number of Planeswalkers that I'm thrilled with. I want to play a Reflecting Pool because if we draw a, like a white source, it gives us two white. Although we don't need it immediately, but... you didn't. I did not cast him as a man. It is true. Yep, see, there we go. Now we got that disallow, but next turn we got double white in case we draw one of our double white cards. They don't exist. <clears throat> oh yeah, I'd much rather cast Muldrift round five. This is annoying. No, this is way too problematic. Like, I mean, theoretically, we could have uh, Shriek mod that instead, but 
it's just so bad. Like never, you never get to block. Like if they go play a four four next turn, we play Muldrifter. We can't block either of them. We take seven. If they play something like Hero of Bladehold, it's like Jesus. Think about my family. Oh, that's good. This guy's gonna get countered, but that's fine because maybe Dream Trawler gets through. Sure. Sure. You know why they didn't resolve? Because they didn't cast her as a man. <laughs> you know, you're making a lot of sense right now. I'm gonna play that instead because I feel like I'd rather lose an ob than a dream trawler at this point. Oh, we lost neither. Okay. Oh boy. Here comes Worm Coil Engine. Crack that Iron Mesa. A morph. Stratus Dancer is like one of the only morphs I know of. And it was a Stratus Dancer. Do, 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 do. I mean, they didn't counter this last turn, so I don't know when, when they had five mana. I don't know why they'd counter this this turn when they have three mana. <clears throat> okay, we just win the game. <laughs> I guess Obnixilus plus Soren is all you need. It is all you need. We didn't really see anything. We saw literally like Stratus Dancer and Essence Scatter, so... Oh, I was going to take a bite of my food, but then the match started. Maybe I'll do it anyway. Oh, God, I hate it gets everywhere. Yeah, there's also Irish salmon. Oh, she's like spitting, spitting peanuts out here. There's hidden dragon slayer. Whoever said like those are the only two in the cube, you're just a liar. Maybe we should just list the morph creatures not in the cube. Yeah, that's a better idea. Oh, I'm sorry, Dalkery. I didn't know you were waiting, man. My God. All right, here's the other two Dalkery sent over. <laughs> You know, Gaston's kind of a piece of shit, but I'm glad he's I'm glad he's quarantining safely. So that's important. And this one I've seen before, but I'll show it to you guys anyway. Yeah, if you don't ever do this to your don't ever do this to your steering wheel, guys. If your airbag has to pop, you're just gonna die. You'll be literally you'll literally be dead. Look at this guy. I mean, I'm probably going to shriek maw that thing, right? <clears throat> Thankfully, it is not an artifact creature. It is an enchantment creature. Oh, wonderful. My punishment for not playing a uh, reflecting pool. I guess we can play it now because we're not going to do anything else. So let's go signet reflecting pool. Next time we got mana for days. Dockery, have a good night, buddy. I mean, next time we get face fetters, this and then Liliana. I don't know.
Little man do be chilling. Little man do be chilling. <clears throat> oh, Hero of Blade Holder face fettering that for sure. Oh, an island? That's pretty good. Like, we just can't let this activate, otherwise they get, like... A million dudes in there, Liliana's just worse, so... Oh, little man, little man. Disallowing the hero trigger is actually an option. But then they play another creature, and then they sack everything but the hero, and then we still have to deal with heroes, so... Do 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 All right. I mean, they could just lightning bolt electrolyze whatever this. They did not. So that's good. <clears throat> One, two. Banishing light. Sure. I mean, if we get to if we get a land, we get to play Karn and keep up disallow, which is pretty nice. I mean, if we if Karn hits, if they give us a land with Karn, we get to do that too. Remember when Karn Sign of Urza was like a $60 card? Oh, give us... Oh, they're going to give us Swamp for sure. A do 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 Michael B. Boo do 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 They give us Lingering Souls over Swamp? That's weird. I cannot believe you've done this. I mean, next time we can go Lily out of discard Lingering Souls and still keep up. That's pretty good. Sure. Mm, okay. Tequila. What is the name of song or some humming? Um, oh, we just win the match. They're like Heliod and Omnixlos, huh? All right, you got it. Our deck seems sweet. I still feel like I'm too far over to the left here. Is there a place I can move the camera that's like... What if I like move it here? Then I feel like I'm facing. And Mike will be sitting here. It's way too over, though. Yeah. I feel like I'm looking the wrong way. I'm trying to put. I mean, it's got to be in a place where the like the the thing is not. Yeah, like, see, I don't want it too far, because otherwise then you can just see over there. So it's got to be like, there's got to be like a... Hold on. <laughs> oh, here's why. Okay, I need to tighten this, is what I need to do. Oh, God, everything's happening, guys. I'm so sorry. Come on. It's just like loose on here, which is really for. Oh, I can move it forward. That's interesting. I didn't know I could do that. Nope, not like it matters though, because it won't fucking stay. All right, that's frustrating. Are you serious right now? Why are you being like this? 
Hold on. <laughs> Everything is happening. Okay, I think that's I think that fixed. I think that's okay. Whoop. Whatever. I can't tell if that's better or not, but I am going to wipe this dude off. Okay. Well, we did it. <clears throat> Definitely keeping this sand. Need a black source, but we do have Riftwing Cloud Skin and Disallow, which is nice. <laughs> this is the last thing you see before Frank throws you into the trunk. Jesus. Read the last minute of chat. Why you cutting low man's screen time? Yes, there is an e epic movie scene of Pee Wee Herman dancing to that song. Oh yeah, there is. Uh, I'm gonna turn it somewhere. Like, uh, Frank, if you're gonna grow. What am I missing here? You guys are ridiculous. Okay, well we we need a white source. Oh no, we don't. We need a black source is what we need. If they're playing mono red and we just get to go Heliod, though, that's pretty good. I mean, Heliod will never be a creature, but giving our guys life length and putting counters on our guys. We're just countering this guy because it's just a strong dude. You come down next turn, right? Oh, a black source? Buttery biscuits. Let's Karn start getting our cards on. If we hit any land next turn, we can either make two of these or play an Ashiok, so. Well, they're probably going to give us... I don't know what they're giving us, actually. I'm into the Tornado Simulator. Yeah, that was good, right? Oh, you guys like the Tornado Simulator, huh? I mean, it's a tough choice. This one's this one's better, but this one I can play next turn if I had a land. So, like, do you give me the cheaper one? No, you give me the more expensive one. No. And then Riftwing Cloudscape comes down next turn. That's kind of cool. <laughs> Goodbye, chicken. I hardly know you. Oh, another swamp, huh? So because they could have um <clears throat> because they could have a hasty creature and I don't want to have either either planeswalker die. I think we just sit back behind our planeswalkers. Especially cuz we can get Liliana next turn. I got so excited when I saw this Sultai ultimatum that I had to send it to you. I'm looking forward to see what you and Rob will talk about. I am I am also I'm really looking forward to our set review cuz it seems like it's going to be pretty decent. Hmm. Well. Four. It says we have to have nine mana or we just play Walking Ballista here, right? I'm just going to get Metamorph here.
Let's play Heliod. If they have a way to kill this, it's rough. Mm, they don't. Yep, alright. <laughs> good game. That was not a good game, unfortunately. For I mean, for... It was kind of a blowout. You know? I'll say good game, because, like... Obviously, it favored me. I'm probably Timely. I think Timely's good against the red deck. It, they just seemed a little slow. Um, Dream Trawler seems pretty unbelievable. Take out Night's Whisper. And being able to exile the chicken is pretty nice. This is a great hand. Wow. <sighs> Lifelink, 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 so. Oh, they mulligan to five on the play. Yikes. <laughs> do, 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 do. Tequila. If they go like a goblin guide here. <laughs> We take two, they have another creature, so then our timely reinforcements is just very, very good. Although we do need a second white for this guy. I don't think that's going to be a huge issue. Rampaging Ferocidon. Yeah, that's fine. Oh man, and it did just one point of damage. So we just get the timely reinforcements here. That's pretty cool. And next time we can play either one of these five drops. I like it. Oh my god, Soren plus one plus one and lifelink to our guys gain six. Yikes. Yikes. Uh, not gonna block. I'll take three, and I, I'd rather have these guys for blocking and protecting planeswalkers. Hazaret, huh? Tequila. I mean, I kind of just want to tef Teferi Tuck this. So we got one, two, tuck. What's say third card from the top? Yeah. I will chump block so that my Teferi may live. Okay, so we're on two tuck. Two tuck. Two tuck. Two, 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 two. Reflecting pool, eh? Let's just dream trawler because I don't think that's going to be uh, easily beaten. This is where they're like, yep, that'll do. <laughs> Trawl those dreams. Some of you may die, but it's a sacrifice I'm willing to make. It's true. Alright, so the next card is Hazaret. 
But Jesus, we're drawing three cards a turn between Dream Trawler, Teferi, and has and uh, our our draw step. And uh, this guy's attacking as a six five. So you know, that's cool. Yep. No, oh, look, Ashiok. Draw again. Colony. One, two, three, four, five, six. So what we can do is play Liliana. One, two, three, four, five. No, we can't. We don't have an untapped land. I was going to say we can play Liliana and Soren. Uh, make them sack this. Give our guys plus. Pretty sure we're just attacking here. Oh, we're not attacking here. Let's get rid of Soren. You're the weakest link. Well, now we're not attacking at all. Hmm. Oh, God. That's not what we want to do. Oh, man. Like, we actually don't want to make them discard cards right now because it turns on their Hazoret. Um. Yeah, okay. I mean, that damage is definitely done. Yep. I'm not under the impression that this hazard is going to do it. Yeah, I feel like you might as well attack here because reasons. I'll just take five. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Uh, I think we can easily hit a black source with this. Or a land in general. And if we don't, it's not the end of the world. So we're gaining like 17 life. Drawing another card. Hey, there's the land. So we go to 24. Seems good. Our deck is real sweet. I'm in a good game. It's not I'm going to send it, but I'm just like... I mean, we're at 24. They have one card. We have a Dream Trawler. We have a lot of things. Yeah, it's a creature. I mean, we could have also Ashiok made them bounce this so that they would have had, they would have one, had one card in their hand, so they would have gotten rid of the other card in their hand. Hazard would be the only card, and then we can just make them discard it with that. Our deck is unbeatable. I think people are undervaluing Signets a lot. I think Signets, like, give you a lot of flexibility. Both in terms of when you can cast your spells and, like, fixing your colors as well.
Yeah, there's probably quite a bit of new players, but also I felt like there were new players in the Vintage Cube too, but I was still getting my ass handed to me, so. I decided to be irresponsible and stay up to watch you 3 out. Wow, I appreciate it. Um, snap, snap it off, man. This hand is good. Guys, I'm really excited about finishing my Thai food. I mean, we want an island or a swamp so this doesn't come in and play tapped. Yep, that'll do. This guy into either of these, into this. You got pad thai? Uh, there's no peanut sauce on pad thai, but... Oh, I see. You fancy. Oh, he fancy too. Everybody fancy. I already told you that you made me want noodles and that's my little favorite dish in the world, tied with soup. Yeah, Pad Thai is wonderful. Boom, 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 boom. Man, they're not doing anything we care about. What are they doing to my upkeep? What's happening right now? You can flash in white Vendillion click? White Dillion click? I mean, we're going to get mana tithed here. I don't care. We didn't. Oh, uh, I have never had pad thai with peanut sauce. I don't think that's a thing. That is not, I don't think that's part of the uh, the pad thai experience. Oh, shit. Oh, I guess we just face fetters it. Dang, why couldn't you come down this turn so I could gain the life, put the counter on, live my dream? I guess I can put it on you, right? He's so big. Yep, that's fine. Sort of body and mind. Oh, dang. Butter my biscuits. They're just going to hard cast it, aren't they? They don't even care. They don't give an F about nothing. I mean, thankfully, we can ultimate price whatever they equip it to. Oh, wow. They had extra mana, so they're going to do it right now. Well, that sucks. Yep. That's a sword, all right. God, it's sad because we want both lands and other things. Well, there's the walking ballista in the graveyard. Hmm. I guess we just shriek maw. But then if they kill the Shriek Maw, it's really bad for us. They have two cards. I think we're going to risk it for a Labiscuit. The 
The problem is if they put it on Stoneforge, it's a 3-4 and we can't profitably block it. So I think I'd rather just get rid of the Stoneforge. Just going to pass here. Oh, good. Oh, wonderful. I'm sure this isn't going to be fucking absolute blowout. What is this weird mono white deck? Marshall Coup? Oh, that's a Marshall Coup for sure. That's a walking ballista for sure. Wow. Yep, that was my fear. Interesting. I mean, you're going to see my whole deck, but... Yeah, just shoot that. Wait, wait, who are you kidding? <sighs> yep, that doesn't... That's actually terrible. That doesn't do anything. Yep, definitely bringing in Forsake the Worldly here. Take out this crappy Soren. Hmm. Actually, Liliana seems worse. Soren seems fine. Yeah, if I lose a match in, in cube, uh, it's probably because they're playing a sword. Or because a black cat stretches behind you and curses you? I mean, he's more gray. What are you doing, little biscuit? Oh, he fell over. Okay. I see. Come on, don't rob me of the trophy, my guys. I'm trying to troph. Uh, this hand seems great, actually. We don't have any blue, but we don't have any blue cards yet, either, so. But you can see how early my opponent got their, uh, their Elspeth down and why, uh, Signets and Mana Rocks are important. Because, like, if you're able to do a six mana thing on turn, like, four, um, because it's the modern cube and it's a little more balanced... Uh, it's a lot stronger. Karn. Island is okay. You have Force of Negation this? That'd be weird. I didn't see any blue cards in your deck. I went and made a spreadsheet of simulation clips I could do. There's so many. Yeah, this doesn't count all the all the times that have happened in the last those 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 were done on like March of last year too. That's actually pretty awesome. What's this? What's this? I can't believe my Are they gonna anguish on making our Heliod? It 
It became too regular to clip. Yeah, it's true. I agree with you. That's for true. Oh, he drawn archive. See that I might want to get rid of. I kind of just want anguished on making this because it puts them on four. And then we might have a better next turn for Soren. I like deleting that thing personally. Is that what you meant? <laughs> oh, man. All right, we deleted the Hedron Archive. Yeah, that's fine. I'm 100% just going to shoot this guy for two. Unless we get Walking Blister here. Oh, Teferi. Man, it'd be nice if we had a creature out at any point to, like... <laughs> to put the counters on instead of the Heliod. But, you know, here we are. Oh, my God. <sighs> Every game, dude. Now I can't even bounce it with Teferi. Are you serious? That's really annoying. I guess we can bounce the sword, but then, you know, he goes to one, so. Wow. Seems good. Walking ballista. Karn is not the same thing. Yeah, I mean, we could tuck the sword, but, I mean. I'd rather just play Teferi draw a card. We could also Karn and make a guy. But then if they have any removal, they have two cards. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven mana. Like, we can Karn, make a guy, put a counter on it, be a 2-2, two, two, we can block. It's not super impressive, though. Teferi goes to five. They need to play two spells in order to get rid of a Teferi. We could also just hit something that lets us kill their guy. Yeah, I'll risk it. God, I wish we could just tuck this guy, you know? Tucking the sword seems bad. We just lose, we lose our Teferi. Right now they have to pump it twice in order to get rid of our Teferi. Like, I don't think that's, that seems just, like, being able to keep Teferi on board is just so much better, I think. Plus, we can also, like, I mean, if they want to come at Teferi, that's fine. We still get to draw cards, and we're like. Yeah, see, we're just going to get to keep Teferi here, which is pretty sweet. Oh, of course, Walking Ballista was hit. What a fucking trap. <laughs> well, they didn't do anything. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Oh, what up, Blooster?
So now I'm tempted to tuck the sword. Let's reveal two. Two islands. Let's go. But we can ultimate price whichever they... And if we draw Shriek Maw, like, we just get to wipe their board. <laughs> well, that's pretty good, I guess. This is how we do it. What are they doing here? Are you serious? Must be nice. <laughs> wow. <laughs> oh, God. It doesn't matter when you call the cards, guys, if they always have it, you know? So each other creature and each opponent's pretty good. They can kill one of our planeswalkers here. Wow, Shriek Maw was great because it got rid of both of their creatures. But it's okay because they had a flash creature. Oh boy. So you're going face. You're both going Teferi. I don't really want to mill for 10, so I'm probably just going to kill this and lose Teferi. And now she flips next turn, which means the wolf also dies. And then we get two cards to deal with Archangel Avacyn. Now it doesn't die because we didn't tuck the sword like we should have. Yep. Liliana of the of the Dark Realms, Soren. Soren, you suck, dude. <laughs> oh, what? Come on. Come f come on. Yeah, of course. Well, actually, that's not bad. Oh, they're going to mill us for 10, though. Ah! No, we're going to block the wolf. Counter whatever they play here. Yeah, we can actually disallow the sword trigger. That's not bad. But if they play any creature, then it's like... Man, this has been a game right here, dude. Path to Exile. No, I don't like that. We're just going to block the sword. Karn can go to one. We grab Liliana. We kill both their creatures. That's the that's the plan. Assuming they don't have anything good for their last card. Simulation confirmed. They always have it. Good lord. Yeah, I guess we could have left up one white. I mean, at this point, I'm not really... Yeah, blocking here. Karn goes to one. We lose Karn. Grab Liliana. But the alternative is milling and going to two cards in our library, so that doesn't really seem like a great option. Okay. Three, four, five, six. The Dread Hordest of Generals. Oh, 
Okay, now we got a game. Yeah, you cracked that. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine mana. <laughs> what is this? What's this? What's this? I can't believe my eyes. Did they just top deck walking ballista because that would be the perfect draw against my three my two planeswalkers when we have a game. <sighs> oh god. Absolutely incredible. All things considered, not bad. Dream Trawler is gone. <sighs> Liliana's gone. Teferi's gone. We do have Ash. Nope, Ashiok's gone. God, if I had a way to shuffle it, Soren's gone. Like, we have no threats left. Yeah, Tide Hall Sculler. Sure. The deck is actually terrible. Yeah, like, I don't know. Man, what? It's like, we're just going to draw lands from here on out. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Uh, f 10, 11, 12. Five lands. In our, our last eight cards. I bet we can even figure out what the three cards are, right? Um, I think we took out Liliana. Yeah, okay, good. God, children would be insane here. Um, just allow, We have Knight's Whisper as one of our last fucking cards. That's great. Um, <laughs> Jesus. God, people just don't respect Sword of Body and Mind. It's pretty insane. I mean, let's see how well they can top deck, I guess. I mean, All is Dust is pretty insane top deck, so... Cool, we got two Planeswalkers and a Heliot out. What can they possibly... Of course. Do you have another sword? No. Okay. Well. <laughs> Face fetters. Oh, boy. So Knight's Whisper and one other card in our deck, right? One, actually maybe I didn't count Colony. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Nope, still five lands. Oh, thirteen. Four lands. We have three cards: Knight's Whisper and two other cards. Um, Obnixilus? No, you're gone. Okay, yeah, I don't even know, man. God, I really wish we had a way to shuffle our friggin' library into our graveyard. Or, you know, vice versa. I mean, I'm not even gonna use the face fetters here, because if they... Did they play an Elspeth yet? I don't think so. I mean, it's not like it's gonna matter. If they play Elspeth, make three one ones, we're basically just dead at that point anyway, so... Converter of Truths. Wow, that's wild. I mean, our odds of hitting non-land cards is super low right now. No, we didn't add Inverter of Truths. Why would we do that? Just because of Sword? I don't know. That seems weird. We added Forsake the Worldly. I can't... I, can't, I don't even know what the other two cards in our deck are other than Knight's Whisper, so... Inverter is actually sick. Like, no joke. Like, that would be actually a... What the... Really? Just walking ballista? 
Your draws have been like Tidehalls? <laughs> Karn. <laughs> oh, Christ. Just like, come on. Guys, remember when we just preemptively used this one turn too soon? Because of course we did. Because of course we did. Now Ashiok's in the graveyard. Why aren't you running 18 lands? Why, why would I? Well, one down. Metamorph. <sighs> no, we're not running 18 lands. Oh, you said wait, aren't you? No, we're not running 18 lands. We're only running 17. So, just to be clear... One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. We have three. Wait, there's three lands in our deck, right? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, and fourteen. Yeah, so we have three lands in our deck. Yeah. All right. Cool. Please stay in game to lose. No, dude. <laughs> what? oh yeah i'm also streaming so i'm not gonna sit here and waste my time so you can like utterly crush me like what a dumb what a weird thing to say thank you guys for watching slam those like and subscribe buttons check me out uh on twitch.tv slash frank patreon.com slash frank laporte cool stuff inc dot com and uh what's the other one manatraders.com 20 percent off the first three months of any subscription with the link and promo code down below it's a great service i used it just tonight in order to play some modern but um yeah, slam those like and subscribe button, guys. I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching.